It's only been a few days, but Louise is already attached to her new device. Alexa, I love you. I think that's cute. <laughs> She's part of a pilot project offering up to 100 seniors a free Echo device with a screen, a companion robot. For six months, volunteers will try her out for free and give feedback. Eventually, I'm going to be able to, every morning, have Alexa tell me, Louise, you have exercise at 10.30 today, or there's a bingo this afternoon. It's a partnership with Connected Canadians, a nonprofit whose mission is to help seniors get really comfortable with new technology. If older adults don't keep up, they are effectively disconnected from the rest of the world because not only are they not able to kind of um, learn and gather information, but we're also unable to benefit from the information and knowledge that they have uh, amassed. There are several Canadian pioneers in the field of companion robots too, designed to help those with mobility and memory issues, a tool for tackling feelings of isolation and loneliness. So the idea is deploying these robots there uh, for the well-being. Uh, mental well-being, but also in terms of uh, reducing the level of anxiety and providing this layer of companionship. Pilot project devices don't store personal information, but experts, including Ontario's former privacy commissioner, worry about the lack of consumer protection as artificial intelligence becomes more popular. Yeah, I'm a big tech fan, but you always have to know what's going on. You can't just take for granted that that which you intended is actually taking place. Amazon tells Global News it generally uses customer data to improve experiences with its products and services, but doesn't sell customer data to third parties without consent. But proponents say the benefits of tech advancements for an elderly population are enormous. And I turn 100 in July. Including this centigenarian who makes oh, voice calls to keep her social calendar money. filled. So I use Alexa uh, at least five times last night. So it was e e much easier. I didn't have to look for the, the numbers. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.